Hey guys, welcome to the Center Bounce. Today we are talking about the Richmond Tigers, who I believe are firmly back in their rightful habitat at ninth on the ladder. How beautiful is it, Big J? Mate, it's just like the zoo. They found where they need to live and they're stuck there. It's ninth mint all over again. Endangered species here. Oh, um, now, the team's done all right for, for bringing in two fantastic players over the trade period. They've done well. They have been hit by injuries, but it's looking good for Richmond at the moment. Players like yeah, Dusty's yeah. kind of wind, wind back the clock a little bit. Yeah. I mean, look at that face. Mm-hmm. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Don't you worry about a thing. But, yeah, he's been doing all right. He's certainly had a revitalization for himself. He's no longer having to do the big heavy lifting like he had to do in years mm-hmm. gone by. We see them at ninth, where I jokingly call them ninth men. Six wins, seven losses. So they're right there. They are at the heels of the eight, 102.4%. Uh, and their best performance was a terrific showing for Trent Cotchin's milestone game last week, where they got over the top of the Saints by 20 points at a very wet MCG. It just perfectly captures that this team really is still capable of being a threat. Yeah, I think just kind of versatility is one of the best things about Richmond at the moment. Got players who can play across multiple positions and they still, still have the good mature age talent, those leaders at the club that will say at halftime, hey, we're Richmond. This is not good enough. We're 10th. We need to be ninth on the ladder. That means a win this week. I love it. That's so good. And it's not like they've got their coach there. They've got a caretaker coach. And yeah. it's always the case, isn't it, that the caretaker coach always starts killing it? It's ridiculous. Mm. Yeah. I wonder if Dimmer comes back. He's like, nah, sorry. We're, we're in the grand final. I'm coming on the field. That's it. Get him in the I coach's know, box. Um, Met- seventh on the ranking for yeah. metrics. Eighth offensive ranking. Tenth defensive ranking. So pretty even. Um, I think pretty average, but pretty even. Eighth in coaches' votes. But the one thing that does it for me, and it's the same with Port, is all the midfielders kicking goals because their leading goal kicker this year's only kicked 23, Joe. Yeah. And they're top eight for offense. And they've been without Tom Lynch for a long time as well. Right. Since so, like the second week of the season. Yeah. Samson exactly. Ryan owners, tell you what, you're all happy because that guy's been fantastic for you. He has been fantastic. They get Nankervis back. Nankervis is also a really great help, um, enabling Samson Ryan to stay closer to goal. They've got a lot more avenues to goal, as you're mentioning. You, it doesn't it certainly helps when you've got Jaden Short bombing the ball from 60 meters out, no problemo. You know, yeah. so they've they've really got a dynamic list, and they're very hard to stop because they love to play that surge mentality football. And at the MCG, they're one of the hardest teams to stop in the entire competition. And you can certainly ask St. Kilda last week how that went for him. That was very, very impressive. Yeah. When they turn it on, they definitely turn it on. And against some teams, halftime rolls around. It's almost like Collingwood, right? Don't give Richmond an inch because they'll come straight at you. Mate, speaking of someone coming straight at you, you don't want to see this guy running straight at you, do you? <laughs> no. It's been an interesting one for a guy that was basically up for the trade period a couple of years ago. I reckon you could have thrown a half decent first round at him. And now he's rated elite at almost every single metric for a midfielder. So Richmond have done well. Bolton's done well. Really stepped up with um, Dusty and Cochin and a couple of other of those more experienced players not doing as well. He's leading the charge for these older, for, for the next group of young players coming through that club. Oh. He is so agile. He's almost untackleable. It's yeah. so insane. And then when he's around goal, he has the poise to be able to shake someone and then steady himself and just kick a banana from the pocket, no problemo. You know what I mean? Like, he, he is very, very impressive. He is that X Factor, next Dusty Martin player for him who's taken that next step in his evolution as a footballer. And, mm. yeah, man, the, the stats the stats don't lie. Yeah. Hundred percent, and they were crying out for a player of his caliber as well. Crying out for someone like him to to do as well as what he's doing. So for him to kind of be there, that's what they're after. 
As long as he lays off the kebabs, no kebab runs, we're all good. We're all good, shy. No more kebabs. And this guy sure. might need to get off some kebabs because Camden McIntosh, mate, he looks like he's running with a looking running very heavy. It just is. It just is not giving the same output that he used to give in the past. He's below average in disposals, in contested possessions, in score involvements, in clearances. He's really dropped off now here in his mature age. He's one of the leaders of the club. And, you you know, a lot more responsibility is being given to other younger players. And all of us, he's sort of been relegated to a bit of a role player himself. Still think, though, that someone of his calibre is capable of dishing out a bit more than what he's provided till now. Mate, talk about mature age. I don't know if you saw on the weekend, but I think he shaved like the top of his hair and had the side bits going on. Maybe he lost the bet or something at the club, but he was he was looking mature age. I'm like, who's this old grandpa down on the field? As you say, below average for a lot of things. Same with Jonas, same with a few others. It's these kind of defensive players that when the ball's not down their end, the stats aren't great, but they really need to step up when it matters. He really has to do it for that. For them so they can make finals this year. Yeah, they're really close. They're ninth. They need to string some wins together. And Mm -hmm. if they can get a full team effort, like what this B represents, B is a pretty nice, solid rating for representing fairly decent team efforts. They've won their last three in a row. You know, they've had a bit of a dip during the year. But, mate, ever since Dimmer stepped away, geez, they've been on fire. (laughs) Yeah, I think that's kind of the caretaker coach thing. I don't know if it's a case of, oh, the coach is left, we must do it for them kind of mentality. But for a club that's brought in Hopper over the trade period, who he hasn't been in the team for the past three or four weeks, um, yeah. they, they've really stepped up and done quite well. As it says here, won the last three in a row on their bye. Going to come back with a fire for the last nine or so games. I do not want to be playing Richmond coming into September. And Taranto is absolutely killing it. The guy is an mate, absolute monster. Best mate, pick in the trade period, I tell you what. Mate, he's in he is in Brownlow. Geelong should have lost more than what they did. Yeah, hundred percent. He is in Brownlow content. Oh mate, if Taranto was playing for Geelong, <laughs> what could have mate, been a sliding doors moment right there <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Where's Damien Barrett when you need him? I know, right? And that, guys, on that sour note, talking about Damien Purple Barrett, the flog, that brings our discussion of the Richmond Tigers, the mid-season review slash report card to a close. Let us know in the comments down below what you think of what we said. Guys, as opposed to needing tickets to go and watch the Tigers at the zoo, you don't need to do that to come and watch our channel. Like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends. We've done all the teams. We've got horrible puns. Joe's laughing his head off. That's all that matters. Here at the Centre Bounce, we do the hard work so you don't have.